All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again now to the Star Ladder Star Series Season 14 presented with iLeague. This is going to be Titan versus Hellraisers. We just saw Hellraisers about an hour ago take their 2 to nothing victory over Team Kappa, otherwise known as Team Greyface. But now they've got a much stronger opponent here. They're going to be taking on Titan. My name is Blue. Joining me this evening is Dust Moret. So Dust, as this knife round is actually getting started, or maybe not, uh, tell us a little bit about this match here. Yeah, I mean, I think this is obviously a much tougher opponent, right? I mean, we did see just a little bit earlier that uh, HR have really no issue at all taking down uh, Team Greyface. Uh, but Titan, a much different opponent. This is a very, very powerful map for Titan as well. I know they did have a couple of rough showings on it. I know they lost a map to Navi at Sivo and Nip at Cluj. And both tournaments where they had, like, I guess not the result that they wanted as far as where they placed. But... I mean, they're still a very powerful Dust 2 team. This is probably one of their better maps with this 5, I think. Um, I know that they used to be a really good casting and it seems to have fallen off a little bit. Uh, but their Dust 2 is still quite strong. And I would expect uh, them to have a pretty good chance to win this map. This is their pick as well. Uh, so, I mean, I, I have to kind of give the nod to Titan here. I, I would suspect that they should be able to get this one. So, with that said, guys, we are going to be getting started now with the... Uh... We're going to be getting started now with the knife round, so let's take a look here and see how these teams are going to fare off against each other. It's Dust 2, so again, the knife round not super duper important, just seeing who's going to outright win the match, but looks like at least in this case, Hellraisers are going to win things out today, so they'll get their choice of starting side. Probably going to pick to start CT, but actually wouldn't be too surprised if we saw them jumping onto the T side as well, but that's not the case. Just going to stick to the normal uh, means of playing things out, and we'll be jumping onto the CT side to begin today's match. Yeah, cool. So we'll just see how Titan can do things here on the Terra side. I mean, obviously, RPK and Shox have been kind of the more entering force for this team. Shox used to be kind of more of a, a secondary entry most of his career, but he's been kind of the primary entry fragger on this team with RPK, you know, helping out in that regard and, and Screen being kind of more of a, a later uh, execute type player. Uh, a lot of aim on this team, obviously, but they just really have struggled lately, right? They didn't really get the results they expected at Cluj, uh, getting eliminated by NIP in the group stage, and they had a little bit better of, of a run over at Sivo, but still wound up getting eliminated from the tournament, but of course, by the eventual champions, Virtus Pro, uh, so that wasn't really necessarily, I guess, too bad of a result, but I think this is still a team that is trying to make things work, right? They spent the hell of a lot of money to get Screen back on the team. They have some added firepower due to that. Now it's just about finding the results that they need. And uh, I think that uh, in the qualification process for this Star Ladder tournament, they're, they're probably one of the ones you expect to make it through, at least out of the group stages. Um, this is kind of their big match, I guess, in this group that they're competing with. I mean, I think Hellraisers and Titan are probably the two that most people expect to make it out of this group, right, and move on. Um, so let's we'll see if they can get it done here on at Dust 2 as we open up the pistol rounds with a lot of presence here from Hellraisers over at Long A and a lot of members of Titan there to begin with, but Shox will be the one to start making noise first as he will be traversing through the lower B tunnels here towards mid. These guys are going to slowly work their way out. The main resistance force is going to be Steko back over here, trying to hold things off from the pit. He's going to be the first warning to this play. You can spot it now, spots two of them, and there's also a crossfire coming back out as well, a little bit further down along. That's going to be Schneider. He takes some hits, but a good pop flash coming out there from the CTs is going to blind pretty much everybody from the side of Titan. So they're actually able to hold this off very well. There's Schneider finally picking up a kill. They are going to, he's going to lose himself very quickly after that, but now Oscar comes back in here as well. He's going to be able to hold things off a little bit better, but there comes Existence and Kucher with probably the most casual pistol kill ever. Just takes down shots. Nice and easily. These final two trying to work their way back out here, but running into so much trouble on the way. And unfortunately, it's just not looking so good for them right now. And of course, these final two from Hellraiser just going to be able to close it back out. It's going to be Angel and Kucha to shut down both Scream and Existence. And that will give Hellraisers the pistol here in the first half. Yeah, very good pistol. I mean, Stiko, his main goal is just staying alive in pit, you know, drawing Titan's attention while the rest of his teammates, I believe that was Schneider, and I can't remember who the other was that were also pushing that long. Some really good pop flashes, as you noted, uh, to get out there and take the exchanges. And they just picked up shocks for free. He was trying to creep around and lurk uh, over in the double door. If he didn't get anything done, Kutcher picked him up immediately, so that pretty much killed that play. And now Titan will just try to force things out into the B site, but so far Kutcher dealing with it here with the M4. Taking a lot of damage, and Scream's actually opening this up now at the Tech 9, so there's a real chance for this force by to work as they have a three versus one kind of a crazy exchange there and smith 
Almost running into Schneider here, but Schneider is going to pop out there a little bit later. He remained quiet, so they weren't able to spot him. Now this leaves Schneider as the last player left alive, trying to find his way up here. Scream's a little bit lower, down to 63 HP, but still, this re-entry going to be a little bit hard to make itself out to. The nade comes out, trying to find somebody over there in the safe corner, but won't be able to find it. Now that nade goes to waste, and that was his only utility piece. Not only this, but it reveals his position, so as he works back in, they already know where he's coming from, so all angles can be turned towards it. He actually makes a surprising amount of progress, and he just rolls right in and finds those two headshots back to back. Schneider, like an absolute beast, is going to close out the second round and prevent Titan from getting their response. Still a very costly round for the members of Hellraisers, but that huge clutch from Schneider really saves their asses. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was looking really rough. I mean, Kucher was kind of the main line of defense at the B-bomb side as he was kind of playing it solo, and Scream had a great run with the Tech-9, and they put themselves in actually a three versus one, a great chance to close, but Schneider just played that so well. I mean, yeah, the nade didn't come up with anything, but he was, you know, quickly able to detect where both players were, and he kind of used that double stack box to allow himself to get some one-on-one -on -one engagements rather than having to face some type of crossfire, and he came out uh, big, but like you said, it, it was a really costly round. Titan, knowing that, is going to go ahead and force up here again. Shock's finding the entry this time. We see someone trying to hide there, but RBK picks it up, and so Titan played themselves into another advantageous situation here with the bomb down at B. And this time, of course, a lot more players left in it, but that does not necessarily mean they're safe as of yet. The bigger story is that they've got the armor with them this time, and they've got these two rifles being picked up as well. So a very, very decent arsenal being worked against the members of Hellraisers. And unfortunately, with them being a man down, this is not helping them out, but Schneider is still alive and well. Oscar almost getting that shot, but actually gets surprised a little bit there by Shocks. Is he able to jump up and find him? He's only two alive from Hellraisers, and to be honest, it looks like they're calling for the save here. Angel's slowly back out shocks may be able to cut him before he gets into a safe area and, ooh, almost takes down shocks in the progress brings him down to about two hp but angel is going to be able to safely retreat for now schneider's in the same and he's now putting himself in a pit so they are going to let titan get away with this third round and that will put the score up to two one for the time being yeah, I mean, that's just Titan kind of realizing the damage they had dealt the Hellraisers despite losing the round. They knew they had forced up a lot of rebuys, plus they got a bomb plant themselves. So they went ahead and just decided to force up, see if they couldn't punish Hellraisers' economy. And they do. Uh, they get the round, another quick B hit, Kucher unable to really kind of seal the deal there. And this time there was no miracle play from Schneider to, to bail Hellraisers out. And they do take a loss. They will force back up themselves. So a lot of force buying going on, just knowing their opponent's economy is low, trying to see if they can't jump right back in and tighten. Again, they look like they're just going to try to brute force B, but a smoke will block their pass. So now they'll have to kind of reconsider things here. And again here, Titan slowly creeping their way back out once again over there to just get some mid control and work things forward from that point. Stiko. He's going to be placing himself in harm's way of it, but of course, with the smokes and whatnot still being in play, he's not going to be able to catch any of this. He hears the noise, but again, it's middles, so it's not like they can really react to this one. They'll get ready for a mid to B split in the event that that happens, but Stiko probably won't be the best player to play this up close and personal, so it's basically going to be a trade out. Schneider puts himself behind the boxes, ready for the push, and then they move the scout a little bit further back to hold off the long end, because they're still very light on this buy. Uh, as is Titan to some degree here, too, they get the AKs and whatnot, but they've already used a lot of utility, and they still dismiss on that scout. But nonetheless, RPK finding a good way into this site, and Hellraiser's completely mispredict this once again. And not only this, but look at Scream, just comes out, tapping away as he usually does. Finds his frag on a Stiko, but Schneider's got that good spot, so he does get the trade on the Scream. But still, actually no, they're still, they're actually really going to be able to go yeah. for this retake now. I was about to say, they still can't go for the retake because there's such an overwhelming force against them. But Titan basically feeding kills to Hellraiser at this point as they try to come out and get aggressive oh, yeah. for some reason. And they kind of throw this round away, to be completely honest. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of a bit questionable there, isn't it? I mean, Schneider's perfectly set up for a mid to B split, but they didn't go that way, there, right? They just went ahead and, and attacked into the B-bomb site directly again. They're able to get the better Kucher. He can't even get a frag there. Some some great entry work from RPK, and, I mean, a great first kill from Scream to spot that one out and CT spawn, but he continues to try to press his luck, and he does wind up getting caught by Schneider's boost. He kind of thought that that boost would be dead since they didn't come mid, but it still comes into effect, and they're able to get a couple more kills, too, on some people getting a bit too... Uh, aggressive peaking window and such and you're right I mean Titan kind of dropped the ball on that one they, they really probably should have had that round in the bag and they cough it up and they will still be able to get a buy though with the bomb plant and Smith's coming up he's so blind but he spots him and sprays him down great entries there from him Let's see if Titan can follow up as they are closing in on the say bomb site now they're going to move themselves mainly up towards long. Schneider falls back for now. He's got a little bit of an angle to look through. That the bomb is going to get tossed over though. As Titan don't want to take the risk on cross skip for now. They actually fall back pretty heavily and put themselves just outside the long doors, which is a good thing too. Uh, because again, you can imagine that Hellraiser is going to move in back over here towards Cat potentially and try to look for this retake situation, but that's actually not the case. I mean, they're checking top mid right now, and Schneider's actually going to wrap around. I, I think at this point, again, you just look at their positions. They're, they're probably going for the save call. 
to potentially yeah, look for course. some eggs at this point. So Angel's going to investigate what's on Cat to maybe find a couple free kills, but uh, with a three on four and them having very limited intel as to what exactly is on that site, and the, more importantly, the positions of the players, uh, once more, just won't be worth it to go for it. So they're going to sit back, and once again, Hellraiser is just going to call for the save here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, that round really just got one off of one single engagement. Smith being able to get up Cat so quick. You can see Hellraiser was still really trying to set something up. Uh, I think they were even maybe trying to go for some type of boost or something there at Elevator to get a player in the site more quickly, but uh, it just, they got caught, right? Smith is able to get unblind and, and just spray down and line up two people there at Elevator, and then the third player there, he's just stuck in an awkward spot when the rest of Titan begin to pursue, and, you know, with Smith getting those two kills, obviously Titan knew that long A was exposed, and they are able to press through there and split the site, and Harry's just too out of position to really contest anything, and so... They will just have to back off. They still do have a decent arsenal for this round, but this has been a really scrappy game so far. Really back and forth, really kind of crazy economies for both teams. And Titan again looking to test the waters over at long A. They're going to pop right out again, going for some aggressive long control here very early on in the round. Oscar is forced back from his angle. Can't catch this initial shot either, but gets it on the second attempt. Able to take down Smith at the very least here. And Scream works his way up on the site. They get the play going for themselves. They get a bit of a problem here for Hellraiser. There's just not enough presence on the platform of the site itself here. So Hellraiser just stuck back over here in the middle, and it's no problem for Shocks for the most part. Just roaring in. He's going to be able to find two kills. At least three still left alive from Titan. Only two left from Hellraiser. Again, unfortunately, these guys are not left with anything to do. They're going to have to call for a save once again, and they're kind of getting into a pattern of this at this point. This is going to become problematic if they keep having to do this. Yes, they'll continue to have semi-okay buys coming into a lot of these rounds, but they're just going to continue to hand over round after round of Titan, and they're going to be able to take a lead off that, regardless of how many gun runs. They need to have better positioning for these takes, as unfortunately they're just letting Titan walk all over them right now. Yeah, it's it, what's really interesting to see, I think, that I've been able to kind of pick out from watching is I'm used to, like, with this team, ever since Shocks rejoined Titan, he had been more of an entry fragger, but you're seeing him play a lot more backstab positions here. They're really relying more on, like, RPK and Smith as a support system to be able to get some entries with screen kind of following behind, and, you know, you have Shocks just being able to make little plays like that. You know, those two kills he got at doors pretty much destroyed any thought of Hellraiser just trying to go for a retake that round, and now Smith's getting an early pick here on Oscar at mid. It's up, down, Schneider. Still has one, as uh, he will be over here playing that corner at long A, but again, Scream and Company going to try to contest this here as they will both be walking out long A, and they force him back, and now with long A control here at Titan, they have a lot of options open to him. And these guys again, working out for long control here. Sneak out, trying to get in the way of it, but unfortunately, the Arsenal's gotten less and less powerful as we've gone through this. Angel actually able to do a surprising amount of damage though, that considering he has this smoke sort of obscuring them, and Scream popping back out, he's gonna be able to find Seiko, so no longer even a presence in this site. Hellraisers have been completely pushed off, too much of a focus on middle, and Scream just picking these guys off one by one. They're even gonna get flanked in a second through the tunnels potentially, but that player does fall off. He's gonna come back though, now that they've definitely verified that they're in here. Uh, RPK will be the one looking for these frags, but even the members of Hellraisers do expect this at this point. After they pick one off from middle, they haven't found anything else there. Schneider with his op finds at least one more kill here. RPK does get taken down, so again, the members of Hellraisers are doing a good job of surviving, but so far, at least talking about the previous like four rounds or so, that's all they've been able to do is survive. They haven't been able to work for retakes that well, and right. unfortunately that's leaving Titan now in the lead here, as they're going to come up 4-3. to three. Yeah, Titan has been able to get out of long A. I mean, we saw some great work from Hellraisers to contest long A on the pistol round. They had some great counter flashes. They were stacking three there at the beginning. They were really contesting it well, but here in the gun rounds, they've been a lot more hesitant. They've been a lot more uh, prone to just kind of sitting back and, and falling back and allowing Titan to take that stretch. And Titan's been able to do a lot with that, especially when you have shocks moving around on the other end of the map making plays as well. So you definitely got to see how Rage has contested a bit better. And you do see this time they are committing a lot more, right? They've put, done their flashes. They've gotten out, but unfortunately it's not going to matter. There's a huge mid-B split and no one even picks up on shocks being outside the site. And now Titan pushing them back out. Again, the entry's going well. Kutcher's able to respond. Stiko finds one as well here, so he holds off a little bit. The trades remain even, but again, this is a situation where Hellraisers are placed into that three-on-three. -three. They've got the choice to sit back and save here if they would like to, but it finally looks like they may commit themselves to a retake here. Sort of. I would think so. They have the guns for this, but they got smoked out of B-Tunnels. It forces them to reroute back, so they're running out of time. They need to find a pick here quickly if they're going to go for this, or they're going to run out of time. 
And now Angel just trying to look for somebody inside the tunnel. He actually gets really lucky there, finds a headshot into existence, is going to be able to take him down there, as unfortunately existence, nowhere really to run, so he's going to get locked back out. Angel looking to move back in, he gets that location on Smith, he's going to miss his shot, and thankfully this retake is successful from the members of Hellraisers. They do come back in, they've got enough time for this defuse as well, going to be a little bit close, but happens just in the nick of time, and finally, finally the Hellraisers, after all of this saving that's been done for Rad around, they do decide to take the risk on going for a retake, and it works out great, because now they're going to be able to tie this right back up. Granted, Titan do have the money to go for another rebuy, but this gives Hellraisers a good chance to get themselves back into this, and once again, rescore the lead from Titan. Yeah, I mean, that kill from Angel on the existence through the smoke was, was massive. If you wouldn't have gotten that kill, they wouldn't have had that spark they needed to actually jump on her to a retake. And in fact, if you wouldn't have got that kill, you may have eventually seen them have to start falling back because they weren't finding picks, but luckily he's able to find that one there with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, you know, magic coming in, I guess you could say, to find that frag and that, that allowed them a, a foothold and they made it work. So finally getting themselves around here, it seems like it's been quite a while since we've seen them put a, a score on the board, uh, but here they have it. The economy's here for both teams, a bit limited, but Titan's certainly one that's in more of a dangerous spot. They need to make this round work or they're going to be saving in the next. As this time around, they've decided to give up on Long A, which Hellraiser is happy with. They have a player, you know, sit there at Blue Bin, so they have, you know, that taken care of. Now, they just need to worry about trying to stop any type of mid to B or cat push, which Titan is certainly setting up for here. So, Titan get the smokes in the and then the flashes, ready to go to get themselves into the site. RPK pops out, actually, after he gets Molly, successfully picking up at least one kill, which, considering the circumstances he was placed under, not bad at all. We'll get traded out pretty quickly, and now we do see, two this attempt to work their way from middle to get themselves in a B. Look at existence, completely sneaky there, picks up the kill on a Kucher, and along with the tunnel being cleared out, now Titan have control. They've thrown Hellraisers for a complete ruse by drawing them outside of their natural defending positions. And now it's just going to be Schneider along with Angel left alive. They definitely have to try to get over this. They can't drop this round once again. Even if they do save, their, their teammates probably aren't going to have all that much cash left over here. It's going to be a very, very limited buy at the most here. So I would imagine they would try to go for this. But again, without too much utility to work with, it's going to make it hard. And it would not make a save call completely unjustified here. So they work in. Schneider takes a whole load of damage from that Molly. Yeah, and that, that in itself is probably going to solidify the save call now. Absolutely. I mean, you could see Titan was set up for two different things. I mean, they were all setting up at Catwalk. But once RPK caught that they were pushing through B-Tons and he got a kill, I thought like there was some type of audible call there from Titan. Like, okay, we got to pick at B. Let's just leave Shocks here. Make sure that they can't rotate off the a bomb. So let's just go ahead and split mid be knowing there's only going to be one player on that side of the map that's exactly what they did shocks does a great job holding the a players uh, in their position and just a good reaction from titan based on the read that rpk got there in the tunnels and they're able to secure themselves another round here and reset the money of hellraisers as well as avoid their own saving situation their money is also still low and still is in danger so they need to be careful they need to win some rounds and they need to do so cleanly if they want to get their money back uh, and get out of that precarious situation so, now we can see Hellraisers once again here. Just the usual split, nothing too crazy coming out just as you've got. The same from Titan. Titan really have been favoring this B push, and for good reason too, because of just how big the success rate has been on taking control of this site. And if not winning out the round, at the very least getting the plant back over here comparatively to A. So, once again, they're going to try to... Th they're throwing the smokes out right now, so they're going to try to investigate this. And now that Smith has found the opening kill back through mid, this solidifies the push. Because at most, there should probably only be only one player on the site, and that's exactly what it is. This combined with that perfect pop flash there uh, is going to allow RPK to find a very simple kill on a Kucher, takes him down, and again, the Hellraiser members have been boxed out. This take happens far too quickly for uh, right. members of Hellraisers to respond to this. So Oscar thankfully catches one player, so no additional damage is going to be done for now, but in terms of a retake, uh, with the way that Hellraisers have been playing this so far, probably not going to be seeing it happen. Yeah, I mean, it's actually funny because Kucher's not really doing that bad when you actually take a look at the scoreboard. I mean, he's 10 and 6. He's one of the top fraggers for his team, but he's constantly just been dealt with over on the b bomb side every time titan goes for some type of heavy b tunnels push they've been i think at least three out of the four times they've hit it they've been able to take care of him without him getting a single frag and so despite the fact that he's i guess doing well statistically speaking uh, there's been a lot of huge entries on b that's given titan you know three or four takes on the b bomb side and they've probably won two or three of those four rounds just off of that alone just brute forcing into b and really denying how racers any chance to, to make a an appropriate uh, retake uh, just because especially shocks being able to cut them off I mean even if he's dying he's holding them in place for a while and killing the clock and it's really kind of you know probably rustling how raises jimmies over there a little bit man I don't know if they wear jimmies but I assume they do I mean I don't know what else they'd be wearing but yeah Commando, they're rustled man. man mode I mean maybe maybe <laughs> All right, that's so. how you like to live your life Blue. <laughs> 
So in comes the members of Titan once again. This push actually, for the most part, is handled very well by Hellraisers. I mean, they pick up a 3-2 to trade, so they're still going to lose control of the site. The plant will come back out. The big swing player here would have been Smiths, but he too is actually going to get dispatched pretty quickly there by Stiko. So the biggest thing at this point that RPK is going to be able to grab is the plant. If he could clutch this out, it would be absolutely fantastic. But again, the odds is not favoring him at this point. He's not actually going to look for that plant right now. Pops out, tries to get aggressive, but can't find the correct angle to get that spray on the Schneider. So he will indeed take him down, and Hellraiser's finally finding another point to get themselves back into this game now they bring it up to five to six just one more away from tying things up against titan well look at me i, I talk about how titans been able to brute force their way into the b-bomb side even in, in maybe disadvantageous situations pushing through smokes and things like that but that round not the case kuchar and angel able to hold that off very well you know being able to just double up on the tunnels and, and shut that down completely so now titan will try their luck at long a but oscar here with the op able to find a pick smith does trade but the bomb is still down but RPK now coming in, and wow, what a great exchange from Titan over there at Long A. A great recovery after Existence went down off the bat. Members of Hellraiser's trying to rotate correctly to get sort of in the way of wherever the members of Titan will be pushing, because they actually fall back. Now they go back over towards middle, and they're probably going to go for a mid to B split here. Players moving into the tunnel. Shocks will control the CT area in case anybody tries to rotate in from there, but... Pardon me. Uh, from Angel now, he's actually going to move back towards Cat and try to come in on a flank with these guys. Nobody's watching this currently, so this is actually a very good angle. And you can even see, too, that Smith is going to walk right past at the end of this tunnel. So if Angel keeps himself quiet enough, he may be able to catch this. But now with those footsteps, they should be able to hear him. Nonetheless, the hold is going great. 50 seconds left on the clock. Kusher still holding off this push. The bombs go down. Smith has to commit now because he has to come back in here and drop this bomb. But they bring it down to one more player after Shock successfully is able to take down Angel. And with Smith finding that final off shot, that ends it. T Titan restore the balance in their favor. This is going to re break Hellraisers. They've got a sort of awkward amount of money but it's nowhere near enough to go for a buy so they're gonna have to save once again and this should be an easy eighth point here from titan to be honest yeah i mean smith is kind of the hero that round right he kind of ensured that titan got the better end of the deal over on that initial exchange at long a and he also kind of bails his team out when kutcher started slowing them down when they rerouted the d he's able to find a key out frag there in the end to silence kutcher and secure the round for his team and now we have kind of a weird force buy from hellraisers they're trying to get aggressive on opposite ends of the map but they're doing so solo they're not really set up the trade and so titan's just fine to, to sit back and just take care of things and they've already pretty much dealt with this round oscar's the only one left with an op and he's gonna have a hard time really finding anything in this so there there you have it, Titan. Gonna go ahead and, I guess, secure the half with eight rounds. Uh, Oscar moving himself. Pardon me. <laughs> the cough for a second there. Oh, don't die on me. Dude, man. I was eating wings earlier. Wing, like you should Dude, I eat wings for lunch too. Dude, did you really? You Bro. Never, you should never eat wings when you fast. I'm just gonna say that. It really messes up your, uh, your, your lung capacity. I mean, I'm handling it, so I feel like I don't know, man. you're just a rookie wing a eater, bit. apparently. Oh, anyway. poor Oscar. Got completely <laughs> blinded and blindsided there by RPK, and so not able to save anything. And money's still very low for Hellraiser because they tried to go for the force there. It didn't work out, and so now they have no choice to take a full save here, really, and that's just going to allow Titan to increase their lead. So now Titan again here are going to have a fairly simple round on their hands. Hellraisers, because they went for, as you said, really weird fours. Like, they really didn't have any business doing that, as he stole a couple of players just on, like, default pistols, but some had ops, some had M4s. So it was, like, a really uneven buy, and I feel like it was just a missed call from somebody or a missed buy. So now this one's going to be the full eco, and obviously, again, this just hands over the ninth point to Titan. We, we've seen already Hellraisers have not been so good on their eco round, so there's not going to be a very good response to this. It's already just down to Schneider. He can't even kill anybody, so it's a 5 to nothing trade there at the end of it. Titan come out on top. They uh, get their ninth point on the board easily enough money of course for this final round and as for hellraisers they're going to buy up what they can but utility is going to be very very limited on some of these players because of the fact that they've got, done this really weird few uh, past rounds here in terms of their buys yeah, i mean you just see titan either taking really big long a control off the bat and just winning the exchanges there or just kind of brute force their way into b and in most situations they've been able to outfrag their opponent that's really been kind of the difference is how these initial exchanges have gone so favorable for titan here we do have another exchange but snyder this time getting the way better into the deal pushing b tons and getting a couple of frags and it's finally hellraisers with the better start as titan does get out long a but this is only two members they have left and oscar has them boxed in and he'll even catch shocks falling back so i mean this round Way different the way it played out as Hellraiser's great, great job. And Smith, of course, this being the final round, no uh, no room to save here. So he's going to definitely try to clutch this, but the odds are not looking so good. And regardless, I don't think he has much to worry about anyway. Creeps out. The question is going to be whether he's realized Oscar's on the other side of this. And thankfully he does. He's going to find that quick shot. So it kind of opens the gates. Now he can escape from the jail, but now he's got to run away from the cops here. As uh, he's still out in the open, but they've set up the perimeter. And that's going to be the big challenge here, as they've boxed them in over here towards middle. And this is going to get brutal. The pop flash completely blind. He actually keeps himself hidden, but they are going to slowly close in. Over to his left, Schneider does find him. They pick up that headshot, shut him down. 
and Hellraisers will at the very least escape with this six point as we end the half. Yeah, just kind of changing things up a little bit. I think that's the first time you saw Harry just put any type of aggression on mid or lower B. We had saw on a couple of eco rounds, they might push up or B tunnels. Surely they are willing to take duels over at long A by kind of stacking it with three and trying to control that area of the map on a couple of different occasions. But it seemed like Titan was kind of getting the better end of the deal later in the half on those particular positions. But Schneider... Makes a big play there on lower B. Finally opens up a round well for Hellraisers. They, they were playing from behind so many different rounds. Uh, sure, they had some great miracle retakes, like from Schneider, for example. But Schneider just went ahead and kind of put the team on his back there and secured that round. Now we're in the pistol. Hellraisers are going to try their luck at long A this time around, just as Titan did. But Titan looking to kind of do what Hellraisers did to them and shut it down. So Oscar again pushing back out. They still have existence to worry about sitting back over here inside of the pit. They're going to drop down, but he holds his ground, and now he's got the bomb control. Thankfully, Oscar's going to be able to come in. Hasn't killed him just yet because he's jumping all around here, but now Oscar's stuck as well. He's now down to a one-on-three, picking up one headshot over here with the P2K, looking for Scream to try and take him down, but he hides, but he finds RPK in the process. Now this is it. This is the one-on-one. -on -one. Scream popping back out. All he needs is that one final kill to take him down. He doesn't have flashes to work with, but he just wants to take this duel. Hits him once, brings him down to nine HP, but now he's running away. He's going to be smart about this. He still has a minute left. So he's going to run for his life, roll over towards that B site potentially, and look to make the take happen there instead and then hold his ground. But Screen, to be honest, I don't think he needs to be worried about this just as of yet. As again, he's got right. 90 HP versus 9. Oscar does have armor, but 9 HP, that's, you well, know, that's not even going to matter. Scream does have a kit, and he has a huge health advantage. It looks like it might not even matter. Oscar's actually going to just go ahead and push out a mid here, trying to find Scream, trying to catch him off guard, where Scream thinks he might already be inside B. They will take a duel, and Scream will win it, and Scream bails this team out, man. I mean, Titan, I felt, were just too eager to kill the round right then and there. Like, they had Oscar pinned in pit with the bomb. They just kept giving him 1v1 duels, and Oscar, you know, kind of surprised him by winning a few of them and putting himself in a position to win, but... Unfortunately, his little gamble to try to cut off Scream's rotate didn't work, and so he can't finish it off. And Titan, man, just by the skin of their teeth, they'll grab that thing. But that was that was hella dangerous. So now for the hinges of this, of course, we'll see the members of Titan once again having their big advantage going into the second round. Should be able to grow their lead pretty nicely here. We'll look for the responses now from Hellraisers and some good damage being done to existence at the very least. Schneider looking to force his way outside the doors and he actually does it very well. Picks up that headshot kill into shots and with the damage back done over here as well over towards existence, he's going to be very low. He has to fall back and then we've got another kill happening too. Angel finding Smith as he tries to get aggressive on Cat. That opens this avenue up and the T's are now going to push into it. They'll look for the take over here on the A site. RPK keeping quiet until the very last second. Pops up, finds two kills right after that. Oscar gets the response after he does a two for two. And now this puts us into a two on two. But Existence finding another one. Oscar trades it out again. And it falls on Oscar once more to clutch this out for himself and the rest of his team. Yeah, I mean, it, kind of a weird exchange over at mid where shots got caught. So Schneider helping in things along here with that kill. And Oscar's able to find his way into the A-bomb site. So he's got a plan. He's trying to cross over to long, but he's been spotted. He will just keep running back. I think he planted it for himself. I'm not 100% sure on that, but Existence still has a tough task here to get inside the site. We'll see if he can do it. It's going to be... He's going to have to wide peek to find the shot, but he should be he's able to do it. He's not doing it. He's moving out now, but yeah, waits too long, so... He'll kill him, but doesn't kill him quickly enough, and Existence is going to be able to get the uh, kind of ninja defuse there, and that will give Titan another round. A bit unfortunate, because like I said, he did just fully commit to it. He just outright walked onto the site and went for the plant, so if we had seen the peak come out there just a moment earlier from Oscar, probably would have been able to kill him, but it doesn't happen, and Titan remained flawless so, so far, at least in these first two rounds. Yeah, just, you know, didn't quite plan it as, I mean, it was somewhat planned for long, but not enough. Like I said, he had to go for the Y peak. He just didn't go for it quick enough existence, just sticking it there with the kit. So five second defuse and Oscar just didn't check it fast enough. And so you see Titan escape with another round. But these are close rounds. You would think these are rounds that Titan should be closing out more comfortably, kind of given the economic situation, the firepower they were battling against. But Hellraiser's making these rounds really, really scrappy. And, you know, they've been in position to win a couple of them, a couple of 1v1. So that means money's low for both teams because these rounds have been so back and forth and a lot of rebuying going on. So both teams really in a hole here. Titan, of course, probably in, in the deeper one. They have to double save if they lose this round, most likely. So uh, this is a really, really big round here. So Titan already having lost two of their players, unfortunately not going to be looking very good in round number 18 here at all. Uh, they've been completely dispatched from middle for the most part. The only hope that they have to really make a big impact is going to be back over here on RPK. As he's going to forge out, he unfortunately is doing this a little bit late, so he's not going to be able to catch anybody in middle. You can see until they've moved away, but he's no clue where they've gone. This is the big problem. He can move in, probably kill Schneider, knows that Cat's clear, but by the time he does this, you know, the take on B's already begun, so now he's kind of useless, <laughs> for lack of a more appropriate phrase in this case. Scream is going to pick up one kill, but he's quickly traded back down there. Stiko! Still alive, though, as he gets that trade, and Shocks too, coming back into here. He's going to pick up one kill before falling back. That puts it into a two-on-three, and RPK is able to find Schneider, finally. So that takes him down, 
And they've got a two-on-two -two retake if they want to go for it, but with Oscar falling, the best case scenario for RPK might just be to fall back, but he's going to commit to it. Hasn't even spotted Angel just below him yet, so even if he did take down Oscar, which, you know, he didn't, uh, probably would have been able to see an easy dispatch coming out there from Angel, as I don't even think he realized he was sitting that close to him, just below the boxes. Yeah, I mean, the big kill there was Oscar taking down RPK with the op right there with kind of the pixel shot on his head. If he doesn't get that, there's maybe a chance for Titan to make a retake. I mean, Scream had done a pretty good job to get a kill and, and hold on long enough for Shox to get in position to, to have a chance to defend. But uh, catching RPK was really, really big. And now that means Titan's in that double save situation. So Hellraiser, this is their opportunity to start closing the gap on the scoreboard now as... You know, Titan has nothing to work with, and they've already been able to get picks all across the map, and they'll just walk into a freebie bomb site now with the bomb, you know, a little bit lag behind, but it'll get there in plenty of time, and Titan really probably just trying to look for exits, maybe save this armor uh, on shocks and save the deagles, because they can still be useful next round as well. So, these guys work their way in here again. Fairly easy plan, as we've already discussed before. Titan, not a whole lot that they're going to be able to do, just lining up potentially for some exits and lucky kills that they could find here and there, but... This round, for the most part, is already over. Uh, this is going to be an 8th point coming out from Hellraisers. Shox finds himself with a little bit of a duel with Angel, which he will easily win out. Smith will maybe look to forge his way outside of the long doors and catch that trade over there onto Angel, but can't really just wide peek out there because he doesn't have armor or anything sitting behind him, so that would be another easy kill for uh, this member of Hellraisers to find as well. And RPK2, maybe hoping he could find somebody towards mid, but this is not the case. Everybody from Hellraisers retreats into the tunnels, and they're just going to hang out over there by the T courtyard. Yeah, not going to be able to find any excess or pick up any guns or anything like that. RPK has saved the Deeg, and Smith does have a P250, so they can still get some upgraded pistols to use. Maybe they do some type of push player, some type of stack and gamble and just hope for the best, but obviously not going to be able to make any real purchases into the next round, which gives Hellraisers the, the opportunity uh, to, to make this a bit closer here and try to set themselves up for some type of comeback effort. They've had a lot of close rounds here, and they finally started to get the better end of the deal, so they, they have a real chance here to come back into this game. Already getting some opening picks here in this round as well. And as they work their way back in here, too, there's another entry that comes out from Hellraisers. They're able to take out Notch's existence, but uh, RPK here as well, also going to be falling. Mainly coming off of Schneider and Oscar there. We do see Smith is able to put himself sitting behind the car angle. Pops out, able to find Schneider, too, but keeps himself peaked for just a little bit too long. So Kuchar is going to catch the trade. Now it falls on to Shocks to make this impact happen. Look at the damage he's done! He's actually going to be able to take down Kuchar with that little tap-out peak that he's been doing. And unfortunately for uh, unfortunately for Kuchar, just not able to pick up those shots on the shocks or need to take him down. So really good play from him. That holds back the push for now. I still don't think it's going to cause a big change of plans or anything for Hellraisers. They can still just kind of walk in here and they only have to deal with shocks. But now Scream has been given some room to investigate. He knows this isn't coming into the tunnels. At the very least, shocks can prepare for this, but he needs to get over towards Cat very quickly. Otherwise, this take is going to happen and there won't be anything shocks can do to stop a three-man push. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much hope here for Titan. At least I've gotten a couple of picks here, and I mean, Shox just has to come up big somehow, but he only has a P250 to work with. Screen's pretty far off, so, I mean, it would just take a miracle play from Shox to secure this round. However, just should be able to close this out as they begin to push up the long A, and Shox is just waiting for them on the site. Just trying to keep himself uh, hidden there for as long as he can, but it's not going to be very long as Angel rolls in. He finds not only this kill, but the final kill on the Scream as well, and that will once again be another round coming out here from Hellraisers. So they not only, again, are going to have a, uh, a really good chance to come back, but uh, as we get into the first gun round here, of course, Titan buying out because they've just come off of their Ecos, but for Hellraisers, again, a pretty, pretty good excess sitting on Angel, Oscar, uh, along with Steko at this point. So even though you see a little bit lower of an amount on Schneider, along with Kuchar, even if Titan Ooh. went out this first round, they're going to have to win probably one more time before they can call it safe. And a great pop flash, as we saw going out there towards Long, is immediately going to force Titan back here and give Hellraisers control of the immediate area outside of the doors. So now they just have to trust on Smith's playing Goose to be able to try to defend against some type of long A attack here. There's a smoke up for now, so Hellraisers doesn't have to worry about it just yet, but I think Steko did just spot him as he jumped over on the platform and looked over the smoke, and he finds the headshot! What a crazy hit he just got on Smith. That is so depressing. They've already had to give up long A. They're trying to go back and grab the op again, but Oscar cuts him off. And I mean, those two kills from Oscar probably just ended this round in a big, big way for Hellraisers. Wow, what a play. No, what this, a shot. Kuchar making some action happen back in the tunnels, too. He's going to find an additional kill on a scream, so this holds back the rotation from existence. And the rest of these guys can just walk right out. There's Kuchar finds another one, so it's just RPK now. On the site, kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Pops out, finds at least one kill, but Oscar's there with the op. Shuts him down before any more damage can be done. And Hellraisers now sit just one more point behind Titan. I mean, it's bad enough that Titan had the forfeit control long A, but that's really not that big of a deal, right? You didn't lose anybody. You still have Smith with the op at the back, a goose. You know, you can still rely on him to do something, but Oscar hit this ridiculous one-tap with the AK on him, being able to spot him 
over the smoke when he jumped up and then just finding the shot and now oscar cutting off existence from rotating obviously a save round and oscar just lighting up with the op he's really come alive in this second half in a big big way for his team he's got 24 frags overall as well so i mean he's really helping his team out to get back into this one Angel just waiting for this push to come. He already knows it's here. He could have heard those footsteps. So that's two more easy kills for him to pick back up. And an easy extra amount of cash that goes into his pocket. Shocks sitting back over here on Cat. Kucha should be able to hear him at this point as he works his way out. So there you have it. Shuts it down nice and quick. And Hellraisers will be tying things up. No losses on their side once again, either despite a little bit of an investment coming in from Titan this time. So this is really going to help to build them up once again. You now have three players hitting over 10k. And Oscar just $200 away from being maxed oh, yeah. out. Yeah, he's doing a great job here. Existence actually take the op this time, and you see Existence pick up the op at times, usually on double op setups with Smiths, but I know on this map in particular, Existence likes to take the op and take duels at mid. That's exactly what he's set to do. He's long screen the anchor B, and he's going to try to look and see if he can't find some of this op over at mid, which he can be pretty successful at doing at times, but he's smoked out for now. That's allowing Hellraisers to get up onto the catwalk and, you know, push stairs and start getting some, some map control. They've had the forfeit long A. CTs are in great position there, but they can still really do a lot with mid in this catwalk control. You do see Shox holding his own for the time being, but more of a push comes out. Thankfully, Existence is here to help him from within side of the B site. He's going to find the shot with Schneider. Oscar, though, finally picking up something for his team. He's going to be able to find Scream in this. It opens up the push to come outside of the tunnels, but you still have Existence here trying to hold things up, but he's uh, he's going to have some help now coming back in over there from CT. These guys push back in. Oscar's going to miss his shot. Smith comes in from the doors, takes another one. They've been pushed back into the tunnels. Existence misses his shot, but Oscar can't connect on the first attempt. He's got to go for another one to take down Existence, and now we're just at a very, very awkward standstill here. Hellraiser's trying to make their way into the site, but I don't think they realize yet. Smith is sitting back over here by the car, so he's going to shut down one. Shox closes out the other one, and Titan, just before Hell raises, we're about to steal the lead. Take it back, and now lead 12 to 11. Yeah, I mean, they put some good Molotovs on the window to try to, you know, make sure that Titan couldn't peek that. They, they had an idea someone was car. That's why they mollied, so they could try to just take the one-on-one -on -one engagement, but Smith's able to win that, so that was a really crucial kill from Smith to kind of solidify the round for Titan. And so after a couple of rounds from Hellraiser's where Oscar was just going off, they finally find themselves around. They defend the cat push well, they defend B well, and they get a point on the board to get the lead right back here. And Smith's getting aggressive, finding Schneider. Existence aggressive with the op mid. He loves to do that, and he grabs a kill for it this time around. So great start to this round for Titan as they already have a 5 on 3 very early on. And now Stiko again investigating what's going on back over here on Cat. Might have a nasty surprise winning for him, but he's able to turn around and finds that kill on his shocks anyway. So that'll take him down. One more player from Titan ends up going by the wayside here, but Titan still have an advantage for now, so they can afford to lose at least one player. Existence, though, might have a chance to take down one of these guys. Tries to flick it, but that's not going to connect, unfortunately. So he only ends up giving his position away. And it's just going to end up falling back over here to the window area in the event. We see exactly uh, what Hellraiser is doing now, which is getting ready for a potential push outside the mid doors. So he's ready for this. If there's not a smoke setup to counter out the window, then uh, he might be able to pick up some kills, but he actually falls back from this. He's going to give them control and walks over to an angle that is smoked, unfortunately. So just not really panning out all that well for existence here. And now that tape begins. Scream moves out. Going to be nice and patient here. Sneak didn't even see him, so there's one easy kill. He did lose his team so he's going to stay outside the site for now. He's got more on the way here too, so it's not going to be too big of anything outside of But what? He's actually burning alive as he works his way back into the site. Down to 42 HP, but they didn't even realize he came back in, so he's going to find one more kill for free. Kucher is still up and in this, but now he's got a one-on-two to work against. Holding the tunnel angle, and Smith's very quickly finding that headshot there. Can execute him with a body shot, but taking him down. And that will be another round for Titan here as they get that lead, and they're getting it back really good here too as they bring it up to 13 points. Still not necessarily the cleanest rounds, but this is helping, of course, to bring down that very, very strong Hellraiser's economy. That's just a great situational awareness and a snap decision from Scream there. I mean, when he steps out the B doors, he sees there's a guy flanking through window to kill Existence, but then Existence dies. So instead of taking the shot on that window push, he just doesn't. Uh, realizing that his, his teammate was already gone, there was no sense in it, which allows him to remain alive and come in and get a couple of frags to help his team retake. So, really well done there from Scream. Now we're going to see the aggression from Titan. Smiths and Scream getting really aggressive at mid, finding three picks right off the bat, and just really crushing Hellraisers now. I mean, they're really starting to find their form and get right back into this game. Hellraisers do hold back, though, after this aggressive play, so they're not out of this just as of yet. Looking for the regroup, they still have to recover the bomb, which at the moment here, Shocks did have a good angle on it, but I don't actually think he fully realized that it was sitting down there at this point, so he's just going to smoke it off. Moving himself back inside, but no, Oscar's going to catch him before he can get safely inside the long doors. That takes him back down. And now Hellraiser's sort of swinging this back here. Like, we, like it looked like Titan almost trashed this round right from the beginning of it, but Hellraiser's are not giving up just as of yet, and they are looking to recover. 
Yeah, Oscar just keeping them in this here, grabbing that op kill, getting them back into a two versus three. They have the bomb in their hands, but they're running. They still have a decent amount of time, but they have to make a decision here on what they want to do. Long A is open. RPK and Scream just focus more on Cat and mid. They also want to be able to quickly help Existence if he gets in trouble, but he has an op at the back of B platform. So they're, they're pretty well set up here on Titan. Uh, they have good positioning here. Uh, it's just going to be about what can Oscar find this op? Can he find RPK inside the site? And, and, and can Scream respond? I mean, that's going to be the big deal here. And they're going to go for this very, very slow peek out towards Long. Once again, RPK has been flashed, so won't be revealing himself just as of yet, but the pressure will be on towards him. Gets the smoke to keep himself alive. That's the most important thing right now. If he goes down, then we're in an even trade situation. And as this volley comes out, he will get pressured, gets himself behind cover, and that flash comes back out there too. It's going to completely blind Kuchar. Now peeks out. RPK finds one of the kills. And although Oscar does pick up one of these guys, as Scream tries to push into him. RPK will ultimately shut it down on his own. And Titan pick right. up yet another round here. Prevent disaster. As Hellraiser is almost able to recover that time. And Titan now just hit two more rounds away from closing out this map. That's just such smart play from RPK, right? Kind of realizing what's going on. He knew, he knew where Stream was. He knew Existence was really far off. He knew he just needed to buy Tommy. He, he puts down a good smoke, prevents him from getting picked by any op play. He puts an incendiary down to, to split up the forces at A ramp. And he just hides back in the site and waits for Scream to get in position. They retake it together. Uh, and they push through and they prevent the bomb plant and win the round. So really, really well done. Now they have the double op in effect. So Smith will be aggro with his op at mid. Existence will... Uh, have his here at mid also. So just doubling up on mid, something that this team tries to roll and they have the money and they certainly do now with all these round wins they've been racking up in a row. Now it's just about whether or not they actually can find themselves any picks here. Smiths in existence are still keeping their eyes here on the doors. And RPK2 holding off that cat angle. Almost wanted to push into it, but wasn't really able to see anything immediately in the tunnel, so he does hold back for now. We just have a whole lot of trades happening over here back outside of the doors. Finally, Oscar picking up an op shot from the top mid by the barrels there. He's going to be able to dispatch of Smith as he comes out around that corner. And that actually holds back the rest of Titan, to be completely honest. Nobody else wants to screw around with this. But an aggressive movement here from Scream specifically going inside of upper tunnels. And he's actually going to be able to find Kuchar. Keep in mind, previously, he didn't actually have a rifle, I don't believe. So that's yeah, one. Five, seven. That's one sitting on the ground for him now that he can pick up. So everybody on Titan, they've upgraded to rifles. And. They're going to be looking really good now, but Hellraisers is again just move away from where all this combat's happening. They're going to go instead over here towards the A site, where you really have one player defending this. That's, that's going to be shocks, but he's still alive and well. Picks up one kill, sitting behind the boxes over here. Going to look for a second. Schneider shooting forever, but can't come out with a kill. Shocks is going to take him down as well, but Oscar coming back in here. He's going to be able to... What? Ah, we okay, fast forward well, in time again. Titan won it, though. <laughs> and I mean, I, we obviously can't see how the end situation played out, but what we did see was Scream picking up a pretty big kill there in B tunnels. He kind of equalized it back into a 4 on 4 and Shocks was obviously obviously doing a pretty good job of getting kills and staying alive and allowing his team a chance to rotate and I guess eventually it panned out there for Titan as they moved it up to map point. Sucks we didn't really get to see how that ended out but that was still when, when it did fast forward it was definitely still anyone's round the way people were set up but Titan come out on the better end of the deal. Now they're at map point. Hellraiser is still plenty of money to buy. The double lot still in effect here for Titan though they're being a bit more passive this time. They're not you know looking for all these crazy engagements at mid. In fact they're just parking uh, each op in a site and anchoring with it uh, is really what they're looking for here. It's going to be a lot more passive. Great Scott dust. We broke the space-time continuum. Well, I mean, ever since, uh, you know, Marty got here, uh, was this last month, you know, October 15th. <laughs> all, this, all this weird stuff's been happening with, uh, with Code yeah. CP relays. <laughs> all right, so this is Titan here, trying to close things out. Amazingly, of course, Hellraisers with that huge bank they were able to stack up here at the beginning of this half. They're actually, uh, they're not broken just as of yet, but this is probably going to be the final straw for it. But because of the losing bonus, they've actually been able to buy this, but as they work their way back out, Smith shuts down Schneider. They've got this dual angle spray coming out too. RPK finds one, but it's traded out. Nonetheless, you still have the optic play here as well coming out from Smith. You know Stego sitting behind Big Blue, gets that shot on Stego, takes him down. And then shocks me back in there from CT is going to close out the final frag. So there you have it. 16 to 11 is going to be the map one score, and it goes in the favor of Titan. Yeah, I mean, in the first half of the game, Titan was just, you know, either A, able to brute force their way into B, getting Kuchar for free and setting themselves up to win rounds in post point situations. Yeah, sure, they lost a couple of clutches to Snyder, but for the most part, they handled their business on that side of the map. And also, throughout most of the game, you know, minus the pistol round, they were also usually able to get a, a fairly favorable exchange over at long A. So there was basically, out, out of the 15 rounds played in the first half, I felt like Titan in at least you know, 10 to 12 of those rounds always had like an instant five on four or five on three or so within like the first 20 or 30 seconds of the round is when you give existence that to work with, he's going to be able to orchestrate things into a victory from that point most times. And I thought Hellraiser just had a great run on their terrorist side. Oscar was coming up big with the op. He was setting them up to succeed, but 
at some point there at the end, Titan was just able to get the double op set up out, be able to confront Oscar a bit better and, and wrap up the game. And they take it in a close fashion, but it's still a win for them nonetheless, moving on to the second map. All right, so it's going to be 1-0 for Titan so far. Next map is going to be coming up here in just a moment. It's going to be on Overpass, so stick around for it, folks, and we'll be right back with the next map here between Hellraisers and Titan at the Starletter Star Series Season 14.